Good day, everyone. Welcome to Custom Craft and Adventure. My name is Derek. My wife Pei and I started this channel years ago. Originally, it was about four wheel drive and camping,、uh, but through the process, we discovered the fun of DIY projects.、Um, so, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, press like, and notification. Now, let me ask you a question: Have you tried bending a sheet metal without using a proper bender? Uh, there are many ways to bend a sheet metal. You can use hammer. A hammer usually leaves lots of imperfection.、Uh, and by the way, there are different types of hammers.、Uh, but in any case, after hammering the workpiece, you have to、uh, use another step to smooth the dimples.、Um, another way of bending is to use a sheet metal bender. Usually, a manual sheet metal bender. Uh, and that can be easily made by yourself at home. And I'll put a link in this corner、uh, that shows、uh, that video records the build of a sheet metal bender. Although it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. So today I'm going to show you how to bend this、uh, panel. This is an aluminium panel,、uh, 1.6 millimeter thickness. And I, I'm telling you, one point six is a very thin piece, but it's still,、uh, I still have, I'm still struggling to bend this.、Uh, and I'm, I'm telling you what this is for. It's actually for a、uh, a canopy, a four wheel drive canopy project. And I,、uh, a couple of weeks ago, I built myself this bender, and、uh, I'm going to show you today how to bend this panel、uh, in a perfect way. If you have an industrial bender, you can just put that in, press a button, and it will bend. But if you have a homemade bender,、um, especially this big, you can't do this straight away.、Uh, and the trick is, you know what? Is to weaken the line. So、um, in this case, because I'm working on a canopy panel. I can't actually put holes in there, so I mean there are many ways to do that. You can put holes, you can run a grinder,、uh, run some lines of weakness.、Uh, but in this case, I have to. I, it has to be watertight. So the trick is to use a tool like this. This is a router with a V groove bit, and if you if you、uh, adjust this to the right. Sort of height, right clearance.、Uh, you sort of run the line, run the bend line.、Uh, so, if for instance, this is one point six millimeters thick.、Uh, I've adjusted this to point seven, so it will take away point seven millimeter、uh, of the thickness. So it is still intact, and then. You put this in your bend in your manual bender, and it will bend easily. Otherwise, the whole thing will just bend; it won't be able to bend perfectly. So、uh, this is all set up already. So this is just a very simple trick that has got a mechanism to clamp, clamp, clamp it on so it doesn't move.、Uh, and I'm now going to run this line, run, run the router through this bend line. All right. It should work perfectly.
Now, there you have it. Um, after these bends, these are really sharp bends. And that is very, very damn nice. So all it is, if you haven't got a strong enough bender to bend a band like this, <laughs> um, you can weaken the band line and then put it in your normal bender. And that way it will give you the result. But keep in mind, uh, it may not be as structural as a normal, uh, you know, industrial bender band. Uh, but if, 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 if a panel is what you're after, then this will do the trick. Now guys, if you, um, if you like this sort of content, uh, if, you, if you pick up a few points from this video, uh, please subscribe, press like and notification. I'll see you next time.